Can I take a second to uh, get sort of personal? And um, Andre, you did a, uh, someone brought it up at uh, your event. Um, the story of your wife was... It's not a story. The, the, the reality of your wife. Of, mm -hmm. of your wife. And I don't know how to fathom what occurred but it's kind it kind of goes along what you were just talking about about living at the peak and on saturday i heard you speak or sunday i heard you speak and you, you talked about her having the desire to go at what she felt was her peak mm -hmm. and in meditation correct me if I'm wrong, in meditation, she made the conscious decision to leave this planet. Is it a question or it's a statement? I'm trying to phrase, coming from someone again who's just gotten immersed in this world, having that level of, whether you want to call it enlightenment, connectedness, knowingness, seems unfathomable mm -hmm. to me. See, uh, you are living in a culture where the only dream is to survive better than somebody else. In the last two hundred years, that's been the only dream, how to be better than everybody else, survive a little better, have little more than everybody else. But you're also, right now you and me are sitting on a land where for people, the distinction between life and death was very thin in their understanding and experience of life. The Native American people lived like this. I was amazed to see that only recently I discovered that they are talking about a doorway in... on top of the head. They're saying there is a doorway. They call it by something of their own language, I... what? Okay? Kapavi which is a doorway that you can open up and leave. It is through that life came and it is through that you can exit. This is a well-established science in India. And there are any number of yogis who left their body, like this sitting among people, announcing to everybody, today I will leave and just leave. Like taking off a pair of clothes? Huh? Like taking off a pair of clothes? Yes, of course. Because you put this on. You put on the body, isn't it? Slowly over a period of time. If what you accumulate, if you can't put it down, are you stuck or no? Suppose you picked up this vessel and you cannot put it down, it's stuck to your hand. Is it a good thing? No. So similarly, you put on this body, it's stuck to you, you don't know how to keep it down. That's a terrible thing. That's what people are suffering right now, being stuck in their bodies. They don't know what to do. So. What Mahasamadhi means is, it's not that they left and went to another planet or something, they just dissolved as a person. There is no persona anymore. So it's a different dimension of life. I think this is too light and uncommitted atmosphere to debate or discuss such a thing. If you're interested, I will talk to you in a different kind of atmosphere where there would be better understanding. And above all, uh, I don't want to casually discuss my wife with a whole bunch of people who don't understand what it is. Who don't sure, understand sure. Yeah, what it is. That's totally fair. Yeah, yeah, absolutely. Sure. <laughs> Again, I feel like that um, can go over a lot of people's head. Anyway, this question came up the other day also. It seems to be bothering all of you. Let me put it this way. Uh, the other day also somebody asked a question, I don't remember who. And they said, uh, like this, it happened, uh, will you not marry again? So I'm saying, I don't come from that kind of background. Uh, one person falls off, pick up another one tomorrow morning. I don't come from that kind of thing, because life's melded in a certain way. And that person evolved to a point where I did not imagine that that person would evolve like that. Beyond my imagination, beyond my expectation, something was done, something that is considered so phenomenal and sacred in the entire uh, culture and in the yogic culture, it is always considered that way. So, when the atmosphere is like that, 
I don't want to sit and discuss my wife with all the people. Sure, I, I totally get it. It's, and I, I'm sorry if I overstepped any boundaries. I, I just, the whole thing is fascinating to me.